Hi, this is Martijn at 112db.com and I'm giving you a tutorial on how to create evolving soundscapes with the Cascade Synthesizer. In this tutorial we will create the Haunted House preset from scratch. First you want to create a variety of different pitches to give Cascade something to work with. We start with a new sound preset. We select the sine wave in VCO1. In VCO mod we set the LFO to 6, that's half an octave. We set the LFO to square. If we play a note now, we hear a pulsing sound with an interval of one octave. Because we have modulated half an octave up and half an octave down, the notes we play will be half an octave off. To let a C be a C again, we will set semi and VCO1 to plus 6. Let's also add some pitch modulation from envelope 2 by setting the envelope 2 in the VCO mod section to plus 24. This means that the oscillator will be modulated 2 octaves by envelope 2 now. Let's switch on the repeat in envelope 2 so that it will continue to repeat itself. Now we have created a pattern that will be nice basis for cascade synthesis. Let's hear what the cascade will add to this. Let's set the cascade mix to 100% and activate the cascade. We start with a densification of 1. We are going to use the windowed function to chop our material into grains. We'll set the time to 475 milliseconds. If we listen to the sound now, we hear a pattern of grains of our original material. Let's create some variation by changing the LFO rate to 2.61 Hz. And let's put the time of stage 4 in envelope 2 to 1500 milliseconds. You have to play around a bit with the LFO speed, the envelope two times, and the cascade window time to get an interesting pattern of grains. Let's listen to how it sounds now. Let's see what happens when we move the densification up to 32. You hear the sound coming up. However, if we play a C, the beginning of our sound does not start with a C. That's because the LFO has not been taken into account in the pre-render process of the cascade. We can change that by using the early knob in the LFO section. When we set the early to 100%, the LFO will kick in right from the start. The note will now start as a C. Let's add some release by setting the release knob of envelope 1 to 5000 milliseconds. An interesting alternative could be to use a triangle wave instead of a sine. This will add some harmonics and create a brighter sound. Another alternative, we can set the envelope 2 stage 4 curve to around 0. This will create some extra non-tonal content in the soundscape. Let's put the densification to 1 to hear what I mean. Let's put the densification back to 32.
We have now created a nice evolving soundscape with the Cascade Synthesizer. We hope you liked this tutorial. Go to 112db.com, pick up the demo and check it out for yourself.